such is the Indian government's handling of the Chinese incursion therefore a sign of maturity or is it a sign of timidness? Let's introduce our panel this evening. We're joined from Chandigarh tonight by General VP Malik. As Salman Khurshid uh, argues that this is nothing like Kargil. Uh, th this is of course the general who, who led us uh, in the Kargil battle. We're also joined tonight by Ka Kaval Sibyl. He's of course the former Foreign Secretary of India. And also joining us on the program, Dr. Sanjay Baru. He's now the Director with the International Institute for Strategic Studies. General Malik, if I may start uh, with you. You heard Salman Khurshid saying that this is nothing like Kargil because lives have not been lost. But the fact is that till the uh, incursion in Kargil was uncovered, uh, lives were not lost there either. And there too, you had you had invaders eight kilometers inside Indian territory. So uh, perhaps this is not like Kargil, and perhaps it is. But perhaps the reasons that the minister cited were not the correct ones. I agree with you. People have come, sat down, they have got their weapons, and if we try and confront them, how do you know that they will not fire at us and they will cause casualties? So, uh, to say that somebody who has uh, barged into your territory 19 kilometers, incidentally, maximum distance that they had covered in Kargil was about 10 or 12 kilometers. And to say that this is not like Kargil, if you, if you escalate, if this situation escalates into a, a limited war, there would be casualties. So, I don't agree with the minister on, on this particular score. The fact is, that they have intruded into your territory and they have sat down. There have been intrusions across the uh, perceived lines of control at many places. They've been having, we've been having that for a long time. But the uniqueness about this particular incident is that people have come, they have camped. So when you construct camp or you construct roads, apparently, uh, obviously you are, uh, you are violating somebody's territory or even the disputed territory, even if it is that. So, so you, you actually make the important point, General Malik, that how can Salman Khurshid say that it's not like Kargil because nobody's died? Because the moment you actually confront them militarily, as we did in Kargil, lives will inevitably be lost. Kamal Sibyl, what do you make of, of this response? You have today General Bikram Singh laying out different options before the CCS, but you have Salman Khurshid you have Salman Khurshid actually still saying that he's going to stick uh, to his trip. That's what I want to ask you, but uh, we've just lost the line to you. Let me just take that back to General Malik first. General Malik, what do you make of the government response so far? Look, uh, there is no doubt that the diplomacy must work. And uh, Salman Khurshid and his colleagues are working hard on that. It is appreciated. But when you have somebody sitting in your territory for 19, day 19 days, then the military also has to do something. It can't hand over its responsibility entirely to the Minister of External Affairs. So I, I do not know what the military is doing, but you know, this kind of a situation cannot carry on or cannot be handled entirely by the, uh, by the diplomacy. Uh, I, I think the military also has to do something. Of course, it, is, it has to be an integrated approach and the approach has to be given, uh, the direction has to be given by the CCS. Uh, CCS has taken 19 days to discuss this matter. Sanjay Baru, the, you have the left saying handle this with maturity. You have the right saying you're being too soft. There are inevitable comparisons being drawn between the hysteria that would have erupted had this been Pakistani troops inside Indian, uh, Indian territory or what India calls our territory for 16 days and and, and how we have responded by comparison to China. Now, of course, uh, uh, diplomacy is all about no two equations being identical. Still, why do you think Salman Khurshid is so categorical that he should proceed with his trip on the 9th of May? Why do you think the government is being so circumspect? Well, uh, first of all, Barkha, I think with both uh, Pakistan and China, and particularly China, there is a border problem. And we have consciously said we will develop a relationship independent of the border problem, that the border problem will be solved in the long run, but parallel to that, we will develop a relationship. That's been the policy of successive governments for the last 30 years. But in this particular case, I think it's important to recognize that, first of all, there was a failure of intelligence. You covered Kargil. General Malik was the general there. We know that there was a failure of intelligence in Kargil. We know there was a failure of army leadership in Kargil in the initial days. And I think here also we have to ask the question, 
was there failure of intelligence did we not know enough uh, early enough and in if we knew what did the army leadership locally uh, do about it why did we have to wait for so long for the government to react so i think there are fundamental questions about intelligence and army leadership that are to be first asked then comes the role of the government and i think the government has been a bit confused the initial uh, response from very important functionaries in the government was to say oh what's all this hoo ha in the media you know it's just uh, these things happen they come into our territory we go into their territory and columns were written inspired by people in government uh, saying this for the first 2 yeah. 3 days 26th april 27th april 28th april yeah it's only when the seriousness of what happened came public that now we have a measured a more measured response i can only hope that at least now the government would take this whole thing seriously and the prime minister is known in the past to have taken tough positions particularly with respect to china at a time when both president sarkozy and president obama were yielding to chinese pressure not to talk to dalai lama etc it's this prime minister who allowed allowed dalai lama to go into arunachal pradesh yeah. so you know he has shown courage in the past in dealing with this kind of behavior by china i think the time has come to tell china that this is not on but does that mean that salman khurshid should not go to beijing i don't think so because the overall framework of this relationship has been that even as we deal with this border issue on which we have fundamental differences there is a larger relationship which we need to maintain and preserve